try to gather your thoughts right here. They've probably been wandering around at least to some extent this morning. Bring them all to bear on the breath. To stay with the breath, you have to be very observant. You have to observe both the breath and the mind to make sure it's not beginning to show signs of wandering off. When John Lee describes the quality of alertness, it has this double-faced sign. You're alert to the breath, you're also alert to the mind, you don't, and then you try to evaluate how the connection goes between the two of them. That's where it moves into evaluation. And if things are not going well, what can you do to change? By now you should know your mind enough so that you have a sense of when it's getting frazzled and what you can do when it's frazzled, when it's sleepy, what you can do when it's sleepy. Try to bring all that knowledge to bear. That's what mindfulness is for, to help you remember the lessons you've learned. All too often we meditate and we find some little trick they say, oh, this is it, this is the key to all my meditating problem problems. And you, then you find that it doesn't unlock some problems, and so you throw it away. You want to keep your keys. Be kind of like those janitors you see with big chains of keys, so that when a particular problem comes up you have the key to unlock it. Because even though that little trick may not solve all your problems, there are problems it will solve, and maybe that state of mind will come around again. So you keep your mind really quiet and remember that you've learned a lot of things already from the meditation, and see what comes up to help. This way your mindfulness, your ability to remember, instead of being a burden, remembering all kinds of stuff, it actually starts remembering useful things. And you can bring it to bear on what you're doing right here, right now. That's when it really gets useful. So remember, there's no one key that's going to unlock all the doors. There's no one master key to the meditation. But there are lots of keys for specific problems. And as a skillful meditator, you want to learn how to collect them and keep them at hand. <laughs>